Dope, good stuff. So what's the story behind uh, your new film with propaganda? Okay, Hound of Heaven, yeah. Uh, the story is, it's a crazy 182 line poem about running from God and failing to run and escape from him. And it's archaic, Victorian, written by a homeless junkie in London 120 years ago. And I felt like in order to really awaken it up to a new audience and really bring the discussion and themes to the, the forefront of a new generation, um, in their own consciousness and what they engage with and think about. I needed a voice like props to communicate it in such a way that they felt like they were supposed to understand it. You know, you can hear people delivering lines that are tough and you think, ah, like whatever, that's archaic, I don't care. And then you can hear people delivering lines where you think, I am supposed to understand this. I, I need to engage, I need to wake up, I need to try to figure this out. I think Prop did a fantastic job doing that for me. So it's a crazy, crazy, 18 minute long music video for a poem about running from God that I produced with uh, my partner Aaron Wrench, a uh, guy named Caleb Applegate, and then the legendary Hisao Kurosawa from Japan. So it was, a, it was a crazy experience. I love the final product. Prop did a fantastic job. So as a Christian and as an artist, one of the things that will happen in any kind of interview is that people will try to get you. They'll, they'll want to like pin you down and it's really easy for not just for artists, just for Christians to get on your heels, kind of rock back. And it's essential to lean in. It's always essential to be fearless and, and just go, you know, lean, lean forward. Recently, I got to swim with sharks, you know, off the North Shore, sitting there three miles off the North Shore with sharks circling us for three hours. And the guy told us as we were getting in, no cage, just snorkels and fins. When one comes close, make aggressive eye contact and lean toward it, show aggression. And the, the shark will flinch away, and it was bizarrely true. Like having a big old shark cruise in, check you out, lock eyes with you, and you lean at it, and it just flinches off and, and takes off. It's the same thing. If you retreat, if you say, hey, I'm prey, I'm gonna show my back and run, uh, they're gonna follow, they're gonna tear you down, you're gonna get destroyed. If you sit there aware that your father owns the universe completely, and somebody's like, so do you, th like, you stand with Moses on the Levitical code? What about Leviticus? It's like, yeah, me and Moses. Like, yeah, he's my older brother. He's amazing. Amen to Moses. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna back away from Moses for, for somebody interviewing me about a kid's book. It's like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna flinch off my father who made the whole universe, who made every cell of their saliva and their tongue while they're trying to ask me the gotcha question. You know, it's like, you're, you're always getting tested. And this creature, this person was made by your father and put here to test you. I don't know how you flunk that. When you know your father's in the room and he gave you this test, he's like, okay, let's see how you do. Will you betray your faith? Like, will you flinch off of scripture? Will you back off the apostle Paul or not? Uh, always lean in. I mean, just, just always. So get aggressive about their, about their chaos, about their worldview, about their folly. You know, stand with your people, stand with your God, stand with your scriptures and lean forward. Make that aggressive con you know, eye contact. Watch the shark flinch away. What other kind of tough questions like that have you been asked? Okay, so uh, do you really think homosexuals deserve to die? Really? It's and like, what did you respond? Uh, the response is, of course they do. You know they're all, you know they're not immortal, right? Like, they're all gonna die. All of them. And when they die, they will not be able to say to God, I don't deserve this. Just like I won't be able to. I mean, when I die, I'm going to deserve it. I'm going to deserve that death. That's a very different question from like, do you think we should be executing homosexuals? The answer to that is, yeah, there needs to be an execution, but there was one on the cross. It's like, it's done. They, there's, there should be an execution, and there has been. It's like, there's blood guilt, and it's paid. The guilt is paid. Uh, but yeah, I deserve to be mortal, and so do they. None of them will be able to say on their deathbeds to God the Father, I deserve immortality. I deserve to be undying. Of course not. Always lean in. Uh, and it's, it's a much better way to be. And it's also far more honest. How do the journalists typically take your answers? Oh, they don't like it. But they're, they're all friendly. They, they know I'm crazy. They know, <laughs> I, they, they know I believe the Old Testament. I think it's great. You know, it's like, so I am what I am. And, uh, and if, if you also, the other thing is, if you don't try to hide something, if you act like you got a skeleton in your closet in terms of what you believe, then, you know, it, that's, that's crazy. 
uh, and they're gonna trust you on that. Like, oh, he's ashamed, he's hiding something. If you're honest and you're saying, yeah, th these are the things that I think that you're gonna hate. Like, I think, and you're still being friendly and you love them. Like, I think this, I think this, I think this. Like, look at me, I'm a creationist. I believe in the flood, you know. <laughs> I believe we're made in God's image. I think we belong to him. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. I like to start listing it off. And if you're honest and open about it, it's much less of a, of a brawl. Uh, you can actually have a discussion. If you try to hide, then you better start running because the dogs are coming. Like they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna come after you because you told them they should. So when you say those things, are they actually like, Put it in the article and like kind of try to. Shame that doesn't. I mean, those those things know. don't come up. Those things come up far more in private conversation. Oh yeah. You know, so in an interview, most people are saying, "Tell us about the book." <laughs> you know, uh, when it's when you're in private conversation over beers later that they hit you with the gotcha question. That they want to know who you really are. Do you really think this? So you're a Christian, but not really, right? Like it's just a shtick, and you're like, "No, really, I am." But Moses, but Paul, and you're. But what? Yeah, yeah, I'm with those guys.